morning, BSTAT Fishing Nation. It is Sunday, August 14th. Right now, it is about 20 after 8. High, high tide, 10.30 today, back here in Avalon. Um, gonna go try for flounder. Um, it's a gorgeous day. I probably should go offshore. The conditions are right for me in, in, a, in a Carolina skiff to go offshore. However, uh, we still got some cold uh, water offshore and right now it's well, 66 in the back here which is great we really should be this time of year we should be looking at water in the 70s so the flounder bite offshore has really been tough this year so i'm going to stay in the back come a couple guys been doing really well and uh then i think right around uh top of the tide and that that hour of um uh that hour of still i'm going to try for sheep's head at the bridge never caught one let's give it a shot so Okay, guys, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, hopefully, we get on them. And uh, turns out to be a good day. Listen, I'm not home on the couch. That's all I did yesterday, sat home on the couch. Um, I'm out on the water. It's a good day. So, uh, guys, again, I made mention before, you can become a member of B-Stab Fishing Nation. And with that membership, there's two levels of membership, and each each level has its own, its own stage and own level of perks. And uh, not like it's something major, monumental. And I went with the very lowest membership uh, monthly fees and their monthly dues or, or whatever, you know, however you want to call it. Um, not looking to get rich here, guys. You know, just maybe a little support. I'd like to get another camera to have a different angle, you know, instead of either, you know, have something like this where you could actually see me fishing as opposed to, you know, a camera on top of my hat and all you see is, you know, what I see. So just change things up a little bit but um if you wish hit the join button become a member and it'd be greatly appreciated if you don't just the fact that you're here is greatly appreciated that's really all uh all i could ask for so all right guys like subscribe become a member if you want to say your prayers to the man upstairs let's go fishing all right b staff fishing nation this video turns out to be one of my most exciting videos yet. First and foremost, I started off flounder fishing. I changed things up. I took off the SNS white chin wrecker chartreuse glow jig that I was using, and I put on this beautifully crafted Captain Hanks one ounce bucktail phenomenal phenomenal looking jig i actually asked for subdued colors as opposed to something you know ridiculously bright like i've been using it was a struggle today i will give you that definitely struggling uh in the one area i was fishing for flounder they turned on a little bit in another area i went to and you'll see those flounder and then and then the wheels came off and uh, I finally, finally scored my very first sheep's head. And it wasn't just an ordinary sheep's head. I self reset. I'm in a little deeper water here. So I am uh, going to give this a shot. See what we got going on here. A little deeper water, incoming tide. Captain Hanks, you can find them uh, on social media. You can find them on the internet, based out of Galloway Township local guy awesome product let's see what we got let's see what we got you know i never realized let's try siri hey siri where are the flounder good morning bob how can i help you can help by telling me where the flounder are yeah, go ahead, Mike. Hmm. is there something else i can help with you can tell me where the fluke are? The answer I found is Everett. Ah. I think she showed me a picture of Montauk. Damn it. I was on a mission today, right? I'm actually on a mission to use these, these new bucktails because I've had them. I've had them in my bag for the better part of almost a month. And haven't haven't tried them. I should have tried them when the bite was on. Oh my goodness. 
or I just try them and see if they bite anyway. Oh, look at that. Bit the top. Okay. Bit the top. One little flounder. Little guy. Jeez, Louise. Bit the Captain America on the 4 Gamagatsu bait holder hook. Come on. Alrighty, Beast at Fishing Nation. We gave that a shot back in there, uh, one of the channels that I've had a lot of success uh, middle of the summer. And uh, one small flounder on the top hook. So we're going to, uh, we're, me, me, the crabs and the uh, sand fleas that I brought with us. Uh, we're going to uh, make our way over to uh, the marina and give it a shot over there. Maybe go under the Causeway Bridge, the Boulevard Bridge, and give that a shot. All right. And uh, this way it puts me close to the bridge once the tide stops ripping. And I'm uh, Come in. right there ready to... Just ready to fish for, uh, for sheep's head. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. It's all you can do is keep going. All righty. Made a move to where we were last week. Doing pretty good. Got a call from another uh, captain buddy of mine. Called me on the radio. Sent me a text. Um, he's running, running a charter. Oh, turn that down. Turn that down. He's running a charter. And, uh... Actually, a party boat said, hey, listen, come on over here. So I gave it a shot. The only problem is I'm in the intercoastal waterway, uh, in a highly traveled area, and uh, we will be rocking and rolling, I'm sure, with wakes, you know, boats, wakes. However, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm catching fish, I don't care if I go asses, uh, ass over teacups over to gunnels. I'll crawl back in. So let's see what we got. Right? You have to have confidence in the gear that you're using. I have confidence in this. I sincerely do. Like, you, how, how is that not going to catch fish? Look at the way this thing just sits. Look at the quality of this, the way it's made. It's beautiful. You put a piece of pizza on there, I'm biting it. And that's fish on. hit the top son of a gun son of a gun hit the top let's spot lock so i don't lose my my drift little guy hit the top there he goes see you later hit the top and that had a bit tail already i'm gonna leave it I'm pulling for this Captain's Hanks. I really am. It's going to happen. I can feel it. This is definitely a bucktail I am going to spend more time with on the water and concentrate on flounder more diligently. I have to zero in on the use of this bucktail, plain and simple. There's too many guys that I follow and respect that are using them and are slaying fish. There's another one. Oh man, what do we got going on here? Gosh almighty, the top again. Another shorty. Come on, shake yourself off, no? Man, you got me good, dude. You got me good with them bottom chomps. Woo! And here comes the blood. And what stinks is today's one of the days I take my I take an aspirin on even number days. Come on, let go. Dude, let go. You got me bleeding. Damn. Got me good. <laughs> Son of a gun. Got me good. <clears throat> Woo! Look at that, man. They rake, wait, rake right across my finger. Their teeth are no joke. All right. Come off the anchor.
Uh oh. Oh man. God, I thought something grabbed it and started swimming with it. I had no, I had absolutely total slack. God almighty. Oh, it's back. It was swimming with it. It was swimming with it and it dropped it. Oh, you little creep. You're an eater. That's an eater. That's an eater bird. I mean, I hate these things. All right, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, turkey. I got you. See, Robert. Oh, you just splashed me in the face. These things have spikes. Oh, I've got my blood all over him. I, I got splashed in the face. He's got my blood on him. I thought he was bleeding. Get out. All right, let's check the camera. Guys, I'm getting beat up here. Make sure I got nothing on the camera. No, I'm bleeding. <laughs> We're getting beat up here. All right, let's get back in there. Seabird. Sea robin. Another sea robin. I hate you. I hate these fish. Do like they do in Florida here. Ah, you know what? I can't do it because I got a fish on the other line. Oh, yes, I can. A dodo bird. Oh, well, yes. Let's see. We did this in Florida. Get them and roll your shoulders. Wow. Roll them back. Roll your shoulders again. Bang. Oh, holy shit. He almost came in a boat. Almost rolled that creep right into my boat. All right, three flounder, two sea robin. That, that We're only going to count flounder today. Three flounder, two sea robin. Come on. Get that junk off my finger. Good fish on. Flounder on, Captain Jerry. Flounder on. What's up, bud? Okay. Got you? I uh, this is my fourth flounder over here. Okay. All small but fun on uh, white with uh, pink tails. All right, bud. Yep. See. You. Come on, buddy. Let go. There we go. Nice little flounder, a little shorty. Right back down. Guys, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Little move though, produce some fish. Good stuff. We're getting smaller. A little black sea bass. This little guy, I think he got caught up under his gills here. Oh no, actually he, yep, under his gills. Let's see if we can do this without, I've done some surgery so far this week. If I can get you squared away here, buddy, without clobbering you, but I think you're going to be bleeding. Yep, there's no way getting you free here without you getting killed. Ah, little guy. You have big aspirations. It just cost you your life. Hey, they are aggressive. Sea bass are aggressive. Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to give it my best shot here. I'm going to get a little closer to this bridge, snug up to this bridge a little bit. Tide is just about done. It is 20 after 10. And I'm going to try and snuggle up to this bridge a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Okay, shifting gears. Shifting gears, going to try for sheep's head. So most people that are fishing for sheep's head, they're going to use spinning gear. The problem for me is I'm in my boat. 
Now, I have spot lock, which is all well and good. But it's Sunday. There's a ton of boat traffic. It's going to be a ton of wakes. There's really no wind. But I don't want my boat up against the bridge abutments. So I'm going to use a spot lock. And I'm going to bump up five feet at a time to get myself closer to the uh, to the bridge. But I'm using my one of my old-time, probably close to 30-year-old bait casters. That it's a quantum bait caster. It's graphite. It's seven foot nine inches long. And with a flipping switch on uh, my my reel, I think this will work. Now I'm using sand fleas, and I have green crab. Out of all the the pint of sand fleas that I got, they all died except for just a couple. So. I'm not a big fan of using sand fleas. I can't get them to stay alive for long. I'm struggling, though. I really am struggling, and I'm starting to think that I am not meant to catch a sheep's head. Oh, getting a little close there. bridge. Much easier done for guys in kayaks, right? Boat's no big deal. Beast Hat Fishing Nation, you can see how close I am working my boat in the trolling motor to this bridge abutment. Luckily, it's the top of the tide, barely any current whatsoever. Barely any breeze whatsoever. Only thing I have to worry about is weekend traffic and the wakes from the multiple boats that keep going by. But I'm struggling. I just can't. I don't know. I don't think I'm cut out for sheep's head fishing. Either I don't know what I'm doing, or I'm at the wrong bridge. They don't feel like eating. I don't know. I'm not going to lie here, guys. I'm actually getting down on myself. I'm thinking, okay, I just don't have the feel for this. I'm a good tog fisherman. When I'm out in the ocean, I'm over top of structure. I do really well with tog, trigger fish. I just don't think I'm cut out to be a sheep's head fisherman. Or am I? All right, I got a big fish on here, guys. Oh, whatever it is, it got me. It swam me into something here. Oh, shoot. All right, he's still on. Still on, and he's in something. He's out. He's out. I might have done it. He's out and he's in. Shit. He's out and he's in. I have a lot going on here. I got to worry about the motor because I still don't want to hit the bridge. I want to get myself away from the obstructions. The fish is caught up on something underneath. Most likely a submerged piling. Gotta let him, let him swim. And is my camera on? But I got him keep out. at it. I got the fish I out. I got him out. Guys, it's a big fish. This is a big fish. I'm not sure what it is. Big fish. Got me into the pilings. Out of the pilings. Whatever it is, it's huge. Whatever this is, it's huge. It's got me in the pilings and out of the pilings. I'm just hoping it's not a... Uh. I am putting serious pressure on this fish. It's the way you gotta fight him.
Oh my gosh. Guys, Mongo sheep's head. Mongo sheep's head. Guys, I just caught a donkey here. I don't know that I can get to this thing. Guys, if I can get this fish in. If I can get this fish in. Guys, I just caught a donkey. Woo! Guys, I just caught a monster sheep's head. Holy cow. Oh, my. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is a donkey. I, I just... Oh. Huh. oh my God. Guys, I just caught a monster sheep's head. Oh. Oh my God. Look at this fish. But I just caught a monster. You're you're being recorded. I just I'm retired from uh, I think we met before, right? But I don't even know what to say. This is a monster. You see me wave head. that cop over? I was calling for backup. My, that's what I've been trying all day. Monster sheep's head. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Bottom sweeper jig stuck right in the corner of the mouth. Monster, monster sheep's head. Woo -hoo -hoo! Beast out of fishing nation. Monster sheep's head. Oh my goodness. Look how this thing was barely caught. Look at the teeth on this. Oh my God. Dude, that's unbelievable. That'll be on YouTube tonight. Monster sheep's head. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Dude, I'm a mess right now. Oh my God. Oh, I'm a mess. I am a total mess right now. Brock, I'm gonna try and kill a couple of sea bass real quick. You know what I'm Guys, I'm, my hands are shaking. My hands are shaking. Hold on, be stop fishing. I can't believe that. I was just, I had a buddy out here the other day, he was doing his YouTube channel, and a, he's a kayaker, and he, uh, he was doing well. I just can't believe this. Guys, that's just shy of nine pounds. We're touching nine pounds. Nine pounds keeps popping up. Let me see here. Wait, let's get this thing to settle. Man, just shy of nine pounds. Wow. Yes, sir. Never got to look at it, but it was taking the mind. Just shy of nine pounds, everybody. Oh my God. Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this sheep's head. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Caught on a bottom sweeper jig. Oh my God. They say these are some of the best eating fish. Oh my goodness. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. We keep them. Let's keep us. Give them a little bit. I don't, I don't know whether I'm eating them yet or if I'm letting them go. I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I, I don't think I'm going to eat them. I, I can't. Not, not for my first one. My first sheep's head. No way. No way, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Not not something this big. Nah, you know what? Look at look at the fins on him. I just want to get a couple more pictures of him. 
and then let's get going here oh my goodness gracious guys I'm 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 floored I'm floored look at this thing look at this thing just shy of nine pounds look at those teeth wow I am floored Oh, that's huge. They're still really good eating. I'm letting them go. I'm letting them go. You know what? I'm letting them go. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It's a monster. Just under nine pounds. All right, let's grab him by the tail. Do this the right way. Do this without getting stuck. This tail's massive. Get this out of your mouth so you don't. There he goes. Go! Oh man, he kicked right away. Be staff fishing, guys. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. I am. Uh, you know, when you try and you try and you try as hard as you can for something and uh, you guys heard some of my commentary over there, I just was like, that. Ah, this isn't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I, you know, either I'm doing something wrong, they're not here, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I saw nine pounds on that. Now mind you, this was on here too. This is super light, so 8.9 pounds. I can't be any more elated. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to do my outro right now. Uh, I'll tell you, um, man, my voice is shaking. I can't believe I knew it was something big, and he was in the pilings. So you see these pilings over here, right? He got in those pilings, and I didn't catch that fish until I tucked up into that little pocket right there. And, um, man, he, uh, it was like the littlest of tap. It wasn't like a boom, boom. It was boop, 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 boop. And then, man, it came tight. And uh, Captain Dan Schaefer's uh, bottom sweeper jigs. That is, uh, that's the ticket. Let me grab one. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see if I can grab it. It's still hooked in the net because I'm all over the place right now. Oh, man. But that's all, guys. That's all she took. Let me get you a good background here. That's what it took. That's what it took. A bottom sweeper jig with a half a green crab. Unbelievable. Do I try for more? I don't even know yet, but this may be the outro. So if it is, like, subscribe. Prayers have been answered. Go fishing. I am home. It, this is hours later while I'm making this video, and I am still so excited. Guys, thank you so much for being there with me on my very first sheep's head, and what a sheep's head it was. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs, go buy bottom sweeper jigs, go fishing.